Hello everyone, we are back in the phase again here on Sport Televens, part 2 of the Genesis and we are proud to present to you VR, yes, the miraculous realm of virtual reality, featuring apps such as Beat Saber, Neuro Trainer and the Trill of the Fight. Demonstrating here we have the Otto Will in Beat Saber, showing off the rhythmic skills and agility used to slice and dice moving cubes shooting its way towards the user. It's here where you use focus and vision to excel throughout the many stages of the app. Next, we have Jamie Moran illustrating in his video how athletes can train using virtual reality apps such as NeuroTrainer. So listen up everyone, we have some very valuable information to share. Take it away, Jamie. So NeuroTrainer is a mental performance enhancement system. We work primarily with athletes. Now we can do things like improve decision-making abilities for athletes, improve their reaction times, improve their uh, multitasking or their task switching, and their visual speed of process. So this just makes um, anybody who is an athlete better, faster, you know, make decisions more quickly in real time and help them reduce their errors. So right now we're working primarily with uh, youth sports. So anyone who is aged, you know, like 13 to 20 type thing, also with colleges, you know, younger athletes improve their cognitive abilities. And, and the way that we do that is by piggybacking off of the Oculus Quest 2 virtual reality headset. One of our primary uh, focuses lately has been working with performance training gyms. So anybody who has several teams that pass through a facility working with uh, coaches or youth teams, that's, that's really our sweet spot right now. So the measurement of the calibrations uh, are what give us a baseline of your cognitive abilities as an athlete. And so as you're responding to these stimuli, it's measuring your response time. And it gets quite complex. There's a lot of multitasking that has to happen. You have to be, you know, tracking one thing and doing another. It gets your body moving. And so the training is also broken up into two different components. One is called attention flow. Attention flow is a little bit more passive. It's a, it's more of a, an active meditation. You know, there's multiple things moving on the screen and you really have to throw your attention and track multiple things at once. And it gets to be extremely, extremely complex. And that helps you access a deeper state of flow. It helps you improve your, you know, your, your brain's general ability to trap or to track multiple elements uh, as they relate to, you know, the game flow. Paddle, perception action decision loop, is a little bit more active. It's uh, really designed to help you lock into those key plays and improve your peripheral vision and improve your ability to respond very quickly, very sharply to uh, instant decisions that you need to make. So this is really great for baseball, for, um, for soccer, you know, things that have very fast play. Yeah, I, I can speak to a few different, uh, you know, anecdotal elements that we've had. So basically we have been working, like I say, uh, with pro teams. And so at the professional sports level, uh, Major League Baseball, the MLB uh, in the United States, we were seeing some pretty good improvements in um, OPS percentages, their ability to actually get on base and choose the right pitches. In hockey, we saw about a 5% improvement in face-off uh, performance. And then in soccer, we saw some major improvements on um, points. You know, we, we saw a major revolution with biometrics, you know, uh, apps like an apps and technology like Fitbit, Apple Watch, you know, that really gave people the ability to understand and control uh, their biorhythms, things like their sleep, their their steps, their even their, their heart rate. And what NeuroTrainer is doing is basically taking that and then giving the same type of abilities to people for their cognitive health. And so we really see some improvements uh, coming down the road in the technology that will allow us to help anybody who is interested in better understanding and taking an active role in their cognitive health, as well as major improvements for first responders, you know, police, military, you know, the ability to improve uh, go, no go decision making. So, you know, we're seeing a lot of improvements in those, those fast twitch cognitive abilities. And so, you know, anytime that there's sort of a life or death experience, uh, we believe that there's going to be a major opportunity there for people to improve their, their abilities in those very tight, intense situations. Here now, I'm presenting boxing training in a way some of you all have never experienced before. 
Yes, you've guessed it. Virtual Reality Boxing Training with the Thrill of the Fight app designed specifically for VR. Today, we also help you get prepared for your first amateur boxing match by practicing in a virtual gym using a speed bag, heavy bag, the dummy, and the dutch ball. Thereafter, you move forward battling unique challengers with their own boxing styles and techniques. To succeed, you will need to evade punches, land those quick jabs, block furious blows, and use timing and skill to land your knockout blow to become a champion. The Trill of the Fight is a room scale only VR boxing app focused on authenticity. So get pumped, grab your gloves, and get into the ring to become a champion. All this is possible right here at Sport Elvin. And to book your appointments to experience VR, contact us at sportelevin at outlook.com. S P O R T E L L I V I N at outlook.com. Or you can connect with us on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, YouTube, Telegram, or Snapchat. See you there. I've done something new for this fight. I murdered a rock. Injured a stone. Hospitalized a brick. I'm so mean I make medicine sick. All right, guys. So as you can see, you can get a decent workout using the Oculus Quest 2. And trust me, um, you can burn calories, exercise, work on your stamina and endurance using the latest in technology. Right, the Oculus Quest 2 was created by um, Mr. Facebook himself, Mark Zuckerberg. And um, he has proven over time that he can deliver. All right. Um, I'm starting to become a fan of his right along with Bill Gates and so these guys are showing that they can be very innovative in tough times uh, so you know you can look forward to some upcoming new stuff from individuals like um, Mark Zuckerberg um, rest in peace to Steve Jobs you know I know if he was alive he would have been doing something great like this so um my thing is um stay fit uh stay indoors and stay healthy um using devices like these with fitness apps like thrill of the fight beat saber etc all right so that's me i'm gonna take a break now and get ready for the next contender thank you thank you for watching <laughs> you out sucker